Hey everyone, this is Shane from Game With Gas, and today we start a new series on the game Martha. This one only just came out a few days ago, so I'm pretty excited to play another indie horror game. So let's get into it. Martha. Oh, a lot of reading. 1st of March, 1996. I find myself driving down a long, dark road just west of the NND Mountains. I haven't heard from my close friend and colleague, Jack Myers, in weeks. Jack is a journalist for the Windermere Metro Times who was hell-bent on writing a feature article on the supposed curse of the Albrook estate. Albert and Martha Albrook, a married couple who were both reclusive academics, mysteriously vanished and the house lay abandoned since the late 1960s. Due to its remote location and stigmatised history, the house was purchased from the state trustee by the Burkhart family in June of 1994. The Burkhart's occupation was perhaps short-lived, as nobody has heard from the family in nearly two years. The Anandir police claim to have the situation under investigation, but there is something that seems amiss in all of this, sparking Jack's interest in the bizarre case and what locals are referred to as the Albrecht Curse. Jack left two weeks ago for Anandir to begin investigating the story. My last call from Jack was just over one week ago. He rang from a payphone in Anandir town and said he was having trouble finding the house as it is seemingly in the middle of nowhere. I'm not going to wait around for another lackluster investigation by local law enforcement. I'm going to find out for myself. Oh, I was still reading through the controls. Anyway. I can't believe my car cut out like that. That might be the old Albrecht house. Either way, I'll need to see if I can use the phone. Thirteenth of July, 1996. Barry Sinclair, Barry's Handyman Emporium. Dear Barry, regarding the old Albrecht house, I'm just writing to you in regards to the old Albrecht's place. Thanks for taking on the job. I know it's a little out of your way. I'll have my secretary send you through the directions in the next couple of days. I think I can pick this house up for an absolute steal from the public trustee. Nobody has seen or heard from the Burkharts for a couple of years now, and obviously they can no longer pay the mortgage. If your report comes back how I think it should, I can get the bank seller to lower the price substantially. I know you're all above board when you do these inspections, but if you happen to find a few defects with the structure, that would be music to my ears. I heard the house might have a few issues with the electrical work as the place seems to chew the juice. Anyway, if you could do me a solid and help me out, that would would be great. Looking forward to your report. Regards, Phil Anderson, Anderson and Son Estate Agents. Radio, so the lights are going to be turning on and off. Oh, is that the old... Can I climb? No. Is that the old old brick house? Oh, that ominous music tends to say that it is. This car is this. It looks like a police car. A police car. Looks like it has been here a while. Strange it would be left here. Yes, that is weird. Did the police leave behind any weapons for me to possibly use? No, it doesn't look like it. Man, it's foggy! Oh well, no need to knock, I guess. Yes. Hello, phone. Where the phone? Hey. I'm trying to find the phone. Where the phone? God, it sounds like it's everywhere. Oh, okay. Well, no, it's not in there. This house, the lights are all on, but so dim, like the power is drained. Hey! I don't have a flashlight. Okay. Ah, here we go. 
exploding phones, hey? Is that how you're going to be? Can I flip you? No, the lights are all on, but yeah, you're right. It is dim and dark and stuff. Someone's been watching the Static Channel. Now you know it's a horror game. Dan's to-do list. Unpack boxes that seem to be put everywhere. Is Emily just trying to fill space? Remove creepy old pictures off walls. Who'd put that kind of shit on the walls? Get locksmith out to change locks and get into attic. Fix fence so that Winston does not get out. Buy rat poison for rats in the attic. Book Emily in to see a doctor regarding the incident. Start writing novel and stop drinking beer in front of the TV. Research Martha Albrecht's achievements in science and survival experience. And perhaps most importantly, buy more beer! Oh, I can't turn you off. There's no no way to do that. I've already read your to-do list. The door is locked. You don't have the key required. Okay. Man, it is dark. Hey kids, as you know, your mother hasn't been quite herself lately. She is sleeping upstairs, so please don't make too much noise. I've had to head into town to see if I can get her an appointment. Take Winston for a walk. That dog has been going crazy lately. Also, stop moving things around. I spent all yesterday morning looking for the TV remote. Remember, if you head outside, lock up and take your key. I've had all the locks changed again after what happened the other night. The key for the back door will also open up some of the cabinets. We'll explain which key to use where when I get home later. Love, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Oh, God, there's notes everywhere. Oh, there's also a key. Get out! Picked up a house key. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not listening to your ominous message. And the dear police department, 12th of June, 1994. Mr. Daniel and Emily Burkhart regarding break and enter at the Albrecht estate. This document is to inform you of the result of the investigation into the break and enter incident at your home. At this point in time, we will not be pursuing further charges against the intruder as we believe that the individual involved is possibly a mentally unstable individual and we will be referring the case to the local psychiatric care facility for their records. To recap, we understand that the incident as you describe it, it occurred as follows. During the night, you encountered an aggressive intruder. The perpetrator was a disheveled elderly woman, somehow overpowered by both you, yourself and your wife. You managed to flee to retrieve your firearm. You shot the intruder with two rounds, and she bled profusely and vanished without a trace. We understand that your wife has been traumatized by the event. However, an extensive search of the local area did not yield any evidence of an intruder being in the vicinity of your home. Consequently, we are unable to continue our investigation unless further evidence of this person arises. Please feel free to discuss this, for, for, this further at the police station in Anandir. Sincerely, Detective Ramsey Fletcher. What a lovely note from the police. A little slamming of doors going on, and I don't like that kind of business. The door is locked and you don't have the key required. Well, I've got a key. The door is locked. Key. Aha, this one opens. Man, it's so hard to see anything. 15th of April 1968. Against my better judgment, Martha has insisted that we move out here. We have bought this massive house out here on the outskirts of Anandir, right near where the crash was. My thoughts lean towards Martha dealing with what has happened and the guilt of guilt she feels for her colleagues, living so closely to where everything happened. My commute to Windermere University is much longer, however Martin has completely abandoned her post sorry, Martha has completely abandoned her post as physics professor. This leaves me worried to leave her so isolated and alone with her thoughts each day. Her mind, I fear, has changed. She seems to have changed. Perhaps we will change for the better, but at the moment it feels much worse here in this house. We can truly feel the emptiness of our own lives. Albert A. Bathroom. Oh! Shavua! You're next. There should be, you know, a 
apostrophe thing here. Jesus Christ, this house is making a lot of noise. All I can do now is leave whoever follows this note and hope for the best. There is something in this house. It is relentless. It will follow you. You can't kill it. You can't hide. I thought I killed it, but it keeps coming back, stalking me. Hit and run. Hit and run. It can't stay long, but will always return. Whatever you do, do not let it get close. Jack. Man, there's a lot of people playing the pronoun game around here. I'm getting a lot of information about things that have happened or about to happen. But they're not being very specific as to what it is. Oh god, I could use a flashlight. Oh, a key. Oh god, how many keys do I need? 22nd of June, 1994. Can't believe it has come down to this. I swear it's after me now and the kids. The car is missing the camper van. The car is missing. The camper van won't run, but we will need to spend the night in there. I'm frantically packing what I can. It's too late for Emily. She is gone from us. I have boarded up the room and trapped her in there. I need to find a phone, call the authorities and burn this miserable place to the ground. We spend w one night in the RV, then try to make it to Windermere on foot. Not going back to end the deer, not ever. Something is not right with that town, Dan Burkhart. Oh, good. First aid kit. Did I thoroughly search this area? I don't think I thoroughly searched it. Not that I can see a whole lot anyway. Well, I guess it's time to head upstairs. Holy shit. What the fuck is... Whoa, what's... Don't play those musical bangs at me. Where did the front door go? Oh, that's what went missing. I don't know. Oh, this one doesn't even give me the option of going inside. This one's all boarded up. Whoa, this looks ominous. Physical astral projection. A powerful mind can cast themselves at short range to walk as an entity outside the physical body. In some cases, this apparition can even interact with the physical world. When the apparition is subjected to physical trauma, the conscious will, by being will return to the physical body. Okay. I need something to light this with. Well, I guess you're right. All these doors are lockered. Oh, was that like one of those um, Taylor mannequins where you build? Oh, okay. Someone didn't like that mirror. But there's another note to read.
Right, let me get to it. Let me get to it. Oh, this mannequin thing's in the way. Oh, anyway, here we go. Anna Dear General Clinic, 15th of June, 1994. Dear Mrs. Emily Burkhart, I am sending you this referral letter to a psychiatric physician. The episodes you, ha you have been having after the recent intruder incident in your home appear to reflect a type of post-traumatic stress caused by the home invasion you experienced some weeks ago. This is something that I am not equipped to handle as a general physician. The symptoms you describe, including sleepwalking and feeling generally out of control of yourself, would suggest a level of anxiety where I would recommend that you admit to the local facility to receive full treatment. I fear some of the behaviour you are exhibiting could be a danger to both you, yourself and your family. I have attached this the letter of referral for your records and will follow up with the clinic doctors in due course. Best. Hans Verafield, General Practitioner. Basement key. I went upstairs. I didn't even know I had a basement. Is that where I should go next? I just... Sounds like somebody's moving furniture or something. Nine Dead, One Miracle Survival Story, August 1967. Windermere local and esteemed academic Dr. Martha Olbrick has been found alive in the Anadir Mountains following the tragic air crash which occurred last week. Dr. Olbrick's eight colleagues, including the Payne's pilot, were not so lucky. Dr. Olbrick was returning from a recent conference on electrophysics in Washington. The chartered aircraft plunged into the Anandir Mountains only minutes away from landing at Windermere Airport. Authorities were quickly dispatched within minutes to mount a rescue effort. Tragically, the pilot and eight other university employees perished in the disaster. Miraculously, Dr. Albrecht was found alive and fairly unscathed among the wreckage. She was later transferred to Anandir General Hospital and is currently conscious and in a stable condition. Witnesses say that the aircraft suddenly plummeted from the sky at around 3pm last Thursday and smoke could be seen billowing from the wreckage. The Anandir Mountains have a treacherous history, with numerous locals disappearing in the area never to be recovered. Police Chief Ernst Kingston says the investigation will be resolved within the next few days. We don't expect to find any evidence of foul play. This tragedy was an unfortunate circumstance, but does happen, and we don't expect to find any evidence or liability other than simple human error on behalf of the pilot who has perished in the crash, he said. Authorities will continue to investigate what exactly caused the crash, but don't expect any charges to be laid. While this might not bring much closure to the families of the victims, the survival of Dr. Olbeck is a silver lining in what otherwise would be a complete disaster. Oh, wow, so she survived a... Um Plane crash, what's this thing in the lower left corner? Wait, is it brighter in here? No. I don't know what that thing in the, the corner is that just appeared. Let's go downstairs, I guess, because I've got the basement key. Yeah, shh. Quiet. I picked up a scrap of paper. It looks like part of a code. Well, can I look at that? Block nine. Okay. Hey, who's unzipping here? Handgun bullets. Well, what about the handgun to go with it?
But that is not the basement. Okay, we've seen the kitchen. Is there a door leading out of here? Yeah, I wish I could find a lighter or something so I could have a candle. What about, sorry, this weird looking door here with the handprint on it? Oh, this is the basement. Don't know what that was all about. 10th of February, 1996. Anandia Police Department are refusing to look into the Burkhart family disappearance. I didn't tell my own department back in Windermere that I was coming all the way out here, but speaking with the relatives and their general concern has forced my hand to come out here and see for myself. The lights in this house are strange and dim something up with the power. I need to find my way into the basement and check the fuse. My radio does not work out here. I've been, I've been attacked by an unknown assailant who appears to be a woman, highly aggressive. I have shot her with several rounds, but it doesn't appear to do anything. Hiding in the basement, I have secured myself down here as best as I can, waiting for backup. Tell my wife and family that I love them. Pray for me. Officer Simon Edwards, Windermere Police Department. Oh, is this you, Officer Edwards? A local cop. Looks like he has been dead. What? Hey. hey. I was going to read that. Oh, I've got a handgun. I didn't get to read the rest of that other stuff. But what's the point of having a handgun if it doesn't, doesn't kill Martha? Looks like an electronic keypad might unlock this locker. Oh, okay, so i got to find the rest of the numbers. Man, there's a lot of doors locked in this place. Well, I'm picking up a lot of handgun bullets, and I don't like what that's foreboding for me. Oh, another key. Give me the key. The office key. I need the blue fuse. Well, I need a lot of stuff. I guess I'll just move on from that dead police officer in the basement. A lot of blood there. A lot of footprints in blood. Wait, was that there before? I can't believe with all the keys I've gathered that I can't open all these doors yet. Looks like an old Commodore 64. One of the first computers I ever had. Martha version 1. Point. Thank you for playing Martha. You can save your progress here. I proceed to close. Okay. Good to know. Another door with a handprint. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. 2nd of September 1968. It's coming towards the end of year and Martha has not returned to the university. She continues to become increasingly isolated and refused to leave the house. She says that she must continue to work on her projects. Martha spends most of the day in the attic. Okay. She has set up her equipment there and only comes down briefly each day. She is far from the woman I know and our life is not the same. Electrical experiments drain the power and both the television and radio keep cutting out. Our electric bills are sky high. Her obsession is driving her to become something else, something truly sinister. I am at a loss and alone out here. Albert A. Oh, sh whoa, sorry. Okay, gun works. An old safe. It looks like there are some symbols engraved on the door. 
Press E to attempt safe code. No, I don't think I can. Old lighter. Groovy. Where's some candles at? Seeing more footprints. I am getting a bit lost with the layout though. This house is rather large. Jesus Christ, that was some dramatic music for uh, lighting up a candle. Can I grab that? No. Oh God, look at these hideous drawings, paintings. Oh God, that's awful. Looking for a fuse. I wonder if it'd be in. So I just locked the door on myself. Oh, I can't see jack shit in here. Is there a candle I can fire up somewhere? No. Okay, we're in the office. Why does the lighter keep going out like that? I saw something blue flashing. It could just be game, being the game. I've come through all these, haven't I? Yeah, the bathroom and this area. Should go back upstairs, perhaps. Why 
Is there anything down through here? No. Yeah, maybe we'll go back upstairs and see what we find. Oh, there looks like there's an attic. Where Martha used to do her thing. I had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to just get in there. So many keys. I know I checked these doors, but I can't remember if I picked up a key yet for it. Well, this one's got a handprint on it, so that sounds... Sorry, that seems important. Don't have stuff for any of this. That's weird. Yeah, some of these drawings are so strange. Are you a candle? Well, there's obviously rooms that I haven't seen yet. This is new. Backdoor key. Well, the shovel. Oh, shit. Where's my gun? Oh. oh god, she's killing me, she's killing me, she's killing me! How the fuck do I get my gun out? Is that how we do? I gotta go. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. <gasps> Jesus, where do I go? What do I do? She just keeps coming. I assume that that's not 
gonna kill her. Fucking hell, Martha. Yeah, I want to pick my old lighter. Can I do that? What's that ripping sound? Where's the back door? Yeah, shh, be quiet. I wish there was just like some way that I could, um, quickly get my gun besides doing this these doors are all closed again But it's got some symbols there, so I think I need to find where they are. Correspond to numbers. Need something to break this with. Will my shovel do that job? working I don't think it's working these won't open I hope there's nothing important inside oh I don't remember coming out here What the fuck's going on? Little girl. I don't think I've seen a game where there's so many keys required. Well, the back door key didn't do really much for me at all, except I got laughed at.
Okay, so we might leave the video there. So um, we'll continue our quest for the keys and the blue fuse and whatever else the hell we need to um, finally resolve this. So, hope you enjoyed watching that. Always, adios, au revoir, au vidasein, sayonara, kia ora, dosichanya, over and out.